I had my car clamped by a bailiff and I was petrified. I didn't know what to do. I was terrified I won't be able to afford to get it removed. Well, a few years have gone by since then and now I've got the information that you need about who can legally clamp your vehicle, where they can do it and whether you're allowed to remove it yourself. I had this irrational thought process when I saw my car clamped, trying to work out if I had the tools to remove it. I thought about calling the police and I wondered if I could refuse to pay the money the bailiffs were requesting and maybe get my car back down the line. So I really do appreciate what a horrible predicament it can be. Whatever you do, don't remove the clamp from your car. You could end up in prison and I'll go into more detail in a minute. Let's start with who can clamp your car. The police, council and DVLA are all allowed to clamp your car. Bailiffs can too, but only in the following places. When your car's parked in your drive, or if it's parked where you work, or on a public road. So let's say, if you know you might be getting a visit from them, if your car's parked at a supermarket, on a friend's private property, or a motorway service area, they can't clamp it. So if you need time to get some money together, they're the good places to park. Why are they allowed to clamp your vehicle? Well, if you haven't had your car taxed, the vehicle's overloaded, it's deemed unroadworthy, or like mine, you owe money to a claimant. Mine was an outstanding penalty charge notice. Once the bailiff has clamped your car, you've typically got two hours to pay the outstanding amount. If you fail to pay, they can take your car away and the fine goes up the moment it gets driven away. Bailiffs can't clamp your car if you don't own the vehicle, if there's a blue badge displayed in the window, you've bought it on higher purchase, there's outstanding finance or there's a logbook loan out. Legally, cars can't be clamped when it's parked on private land, and this has been the law for over 10 years. The worst that can happen on private land is getting a parking charge notice. You can't just remove a clamp from the car yourself. If you do, the bailiff will tell the police, the police will use AMPR to track your vehicle, and when the police track your car down, they'll impound it, and you could get arrested. Once your car gets clamped, there's a three-point checklist. Find out who clamped your car, work out whether it's a police or DVLA, and if you can't afford the fine, get legal advice. If you know a solicitor, get in touch with them, but if you don't, and you want a quick and easy solution, use online solicitors like Just Answer. It's only a fiver for a trial, and they're really easy to use. You just tell them what's happened in the chat, and they should be able to steer you in the right direction. There's a link in the description if you wanna check it out and support my channel.